Alrighty, hello and welcome back to Xanthus Gaming. We're here in 7 Days to Die, our Horde Every Night, 30 Minute Days uh, series. And we have uh, fixed the issue with the output dying on us, I believe. Should no longer be an issue. Uh, so, today we're going to test that theory and see if that's the case. Uh, we are going to do something a little bit different in today's episode. We are going to go out and do this quest that's been sitting here for us forever. Uh, we're going to do that while the uh, materials smelt down in our forges because we have just a lot of materials that need smelted down um, in order for us to do what we need to do. So actually this one looks like it's almost done. Maybe I better do a little bit of mining first. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, so change of plans again. Um, I'm going to go mine out some metal, bring it back, throw it in the forge... We're going to do the Horde Knight, and then we're going to go do that uh, that quest over here, just for a little bit of a change of pace. So, uh, I'm going to go grab some metal. Ult our ultimate goal is being able to make the 4x4. Uh, we have lots of glue crafting over here in our chem station, so we should be able to have enough duct tape in order to make the accessories for it. And we should have plenty of everything else, I think. Uh, so, I mean, we should be rolling with a 4x4 or maybe even a gyrocopter. Um, probably this episode, actually. Yeah, because it looks like the forged steel and the duct tape are the only limiting factors. Uh, so let's just get some more steel going, and then we can take our gyrocopter to our quest. That sounds great. I like that idea. All right, so I'm going to go do some mining until Horde Night, and we'll see you guys for Horde Day at the start of this episode. Oh, I did uh, forget to mention that we took some perks... Uh, to help with the mining. Uh, so I put a bunch of points into strength. And then we got a point into mother load and a point into minor 69er. Uh, just to make the mining go a little bit better. So, yep. It's going to help out. Alrighty. Uh, we've got a couple thousand more. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get back to base. Get that smelting. And then start crafting up stuff. For the gyrocopter, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys at base. Alrighty, throw that stuff in. Get more steel popping. Alright, uh, we need to grab the glue. We need to make duct tape. How many do we need? Uh, looks like 25 duct tapes. It's not too bad. Let's do that in here. Uh, actually, we'll do it on our person. Uh, so 22. Because we already have some. Kept. And then... What else do we need for a gyrocopter? I mean, three wheels. Interesting. Okay. That might be a little bit harder to come by. We might have enough up here. I think we're one acid short. Unfortunately. Ah, uh, bummer. So we cannot make the gyrocopter today because we need more acid. Uh, maybe we'll find it when we're out on that raiding mission. Got my hopes up and everything. We also need another motor, it looks like. Two headlights, short iron pipe, mechanical springs. Alright. We have the rest of the stuff, it looks like. So that's good. Iron pipes, springs, uh, mechanical is one of the things, right? I must be blind, I'm not seeing them. Oh, right, we have everything. Okay. Okay, so let's make the gyrocopter accessories. Uh, for the chassis, we need leather. We should have that. A little bit more steel. Uh, maybe we don't have the leather. Hmm. That scraps down into leather, right? Yeah. Alright, uh, give me just a second, guys. I'm going to scrap down stuff, see if we can get it. Uh, it does not look like we have enough leather. So when we're out at that, uh, at that quest, we're going to want to be looking for leather couches. Of course, acid. 
And then we need to take apart things for like motors and stuff. So I'm going to get my inventory start sorted. We're going to do the Horde Knight. Um, and then we're going to go out and clear that quest POI and see if we can find the remaining things for our gyrocopter. All right. Alrighty. Just getting a little bit of uh, concrete mixes back up in case we need to repair our base throughout this Horde Knight. We, of course, have our steel on us to repair the traps. Let's go ahead and start off by just making sure those bad boys are running. Get them fully repaired up. Those are pretty important. Okay. And now we can fight! Just gonna kind of watch the other screen, make sure we don't lose video feed, because this is when we started losing video feed the other day. I replaced the cord. I think that's what the issue was. I'm just gonna watch my OBS and make sure that we are good. Looking solid. Not seeing any drops. Cool. You guys, uh, let me know in the comments if it does uh, lose signal during this. And if so, just give me a timestamp of when so I can confirm. I think the new cord should have fixed the issue. Apologize again for last episode. If I would have had time, I would have went through and edited out all the little no signal bits, but I, just, I don't have time with my current work schedule, so. Yep, we need to take out those blocks eventually so we can get uh, sludge turrets on both sides. For now, we're doing fine. I'm just kind of worried about once the demolishers and cops start showing up. That's all. Yep. I said I could lose it for a second. There we go. I think those were robotics parts. No, baton parts, okay. We need more robotics parts. Got some antibiotics there, some buckshot, sewing kits. But yeah, we need more robotics parts to be able to craft more uh, more robotic shirts. We need, we need two of them, and we need them to be a little bit higher quality than the starting one. We have a lot of cash that we'll be able to take to the trader eventually. Hey, now we have a fire axe. We've actually went this entire time without one. But we haven't done too much stuff with wood, so it hasn't been that big of a deal. Just burning for the forges. One of the advantages of going just straight to cobblestone. We go over here and just check on our electric fences, make sure they're all doing okay. Yeah, all good. Check this side. Uh, those do need repaired. I left the forged iron in the base. Whoopsie. Let's go grab that real quick. Base should continue to defend itself for a minute. It might beat on the door a little bit because I'm over here. That's fine. We're going to repath over this way anyway. Now they should want to come over here again. All right, cool. Grab that loot bag before it falls down. Uh, steel mace parts. You know, if we get our like weapon crafting up, we might just use some of those parts to craft like high quality weapons and just sell them to the trader. I don't know if that's really worth it, but it might be. The trader can have things that we can't really get anywhere else. Like the solar panels. Okay, so that's handy for uh, going on treasure hunts. Gives you better loot dig. Okay. 
going well. Got some machete parts. Nice. Basically a loop pinata at this point. I do hear some weird things going on over here. I'm a little a little concerned about. There's some people somewhere they shouldn't be, maybe. No, that's just them running around. Okay. They're just coming from that direction. I see. That's fine. It's also kind of restocking us on ammo so that we can go out into those POIs a little bit easier. So that's nice. We don't really have to worry about ammo as much during the Horde Night until we start getting cops. So we can just kind of build ourselves a little bit of a buffer. I hear a uh, vulture beating on the walls. Oh, hello. You're not a vulture. Uh, how are you guys getting in? That's not normal. Curious. Hmm. I'll have to check that out after we're done. Can't reach that loot bag. Oh, that's because it was apparently a construction uh, worker's body. Not an actual loot bag. My bad. Okay. Doing good. Nice. More loots. It's starting to drop a little bit too far back. I'll grab them afterwards, it's no big deal. We got a spider. He died. Alright, cool. Game stage 60. Remember, it's not only level, it's also time passed. And since we're on 30 minute days, less time has passed, right? Yes, we are on day, uh... We're on day 26, but it's more like day 13 on a normal game. So this would be a typical second board. Might be a little bit more intense than the normal second horde, just because we've killed so many zombies with horde every night. But um, let's keep in mind game stages and scale is quick in this mode, just because of the time factor. I need to do something about that crawl through. That should be it. Let's see if there's any like stragglers. Yeah, there are. All right. Cool. I think I hear one more. Let's go turn off the generator so that we can grab those loot bags, see what we got. Surprise, mother trucker. Level 5 spear, heck yeah. An AK, very nice. Let's drop down into the death pit. I don't think there's anything down here, but just in case. Looks like we're good. Any other stragglers? There's one over there. Sir, that is not your entrance. That is my entrance, and I am not okay with this. That's how those guys got in. They went through the door here. They figured out another way. I must have left the door open. This door was open, so they thought they could just jump up. Shoot. Mistakes were made. We'll have to craft another one of those. One more forged iron. I think we can make that happen. Should probably do like 
30 additional for like uh, electric fence repairs and then do the rest as uh, as steel um, for the obvious for the gyrocopter, right? Okay, so I'm not gonna wait around for that. Um, I'm just gonna drop off stuff. Uh, it'll be done by the time I do my inventory management. So I'm gonna inventory manage, uh, grab the door, throw it on, and then we'll go out towards the quest place. I will see you guys out at the quest place. I was eating while I was traveling, and she hit me. That was rude. She had to die. Lumberjack challenge? Yeah, sure, why not? We're gonna take apart these uh, cars to try to find an engine, because we need that. Oh, there it is. I say we need that for our gyrocopter, but we found that super easily, actually. I'm a little bit disappointed at how easy that was, but I mean, I shouldn't complain. That's, that's happy. I'm just uh, kind of surprised. So, all right, well, I mean, we can just throw this stuff in here then. Cool. And continuing on to the quest. Jeez, that quest was a long ways away. It actually looks like it led us to a whole new city, um, which is cool. So we have this city and then we have another one over here. Uh, looks like some pretty decent POIs here too. We have a Motel 8. A lumber mill, gold mine. Looks like there's a theater up ahead. Uh, working stiff tools or crack book. What's oh, a crack book? Is it? Can't tell. Oh no, it's savage country. Rugged wear for primal survivors. Oh, that's gonna be a good place to find leather. Actually, if we have time, we might go over there after the quest, um, just to get the leather we need. We'll see how time presents itself. I'll probably clear loud, um, just to try to get through it in time. Park my bike outside of the quest zone area. And we'll go ahead and activate the rally point. We do probably want to dig up concrete mix as we find it. Uh, I don't have any stone, really. I do now. Uh, just because this stuff is... It saves a lot of effort to have it pre-smelted. Right, so we have to actually clear the area. I'm probably just going to draw them out. There's a new uh, replacement for the stripper zombie, the nightgown zombie, with new jiggly hair physics. Yep. It's just the hair. Alright, we're just gonna go through this as quick as possible. Which means, quite loudly, I uh, just wanna clear it, find any loot that there is, and uh, move through. Let's see, hopefully we can find lots of things that are leather to scrap, but... Not going to assume that it's necessarily going to be the case. It's going to give us cloth, right? Yeah. Still worth taking apart. Doesn't quite give us what we need, though. Not going to worry about the TV for the electric parts. I do want to get food as I'm here, too, so that we can keep up to date on our hunger meter and not fall behind there. I'll definitely take painkillers as well. I don't know that I need the uh, the grain alcohol, but uh, for now we'll keep it. If push comes to shove, that might get thrown out the window. Let's keep the brass and stuff just scrapped. A little bit of iron in that cupboard because reasons. Some mushroom seeds or coffee grounds, I can't tell. Uh, coffee beans. Okay. Let's 
Probably could be a false floor. Maybe not. Just looks like one of those situations where you go walk into a false floor, right? I guess not. I was overly suspicious for no reason. Okay. So don't think I have any lockpicks on me. Now. I'm not going to take the time to break that open. We're so far from home and we have other things that we have to get done. I don't think it's going to end up being worth it to us. There's potential that it could have some really great things. But. It's kind of why I get the quest cleared out. And potentially find the leather that we need. Cigars boost your strength and make your barter ability better. Cool. And you can craft cigars. Shots to the leg with arrows or bolts to slow your opponent. Probably won't use either of those, but... Doesn't hurt to have them, I guess. Reinforced chest. Nice. Okay. Uh, what we have is better. We did get some diamonds from that. That's pretty sweet. All right. Did we... Yeah, we cleared the whole area. So we're good to leave now. We'll just exit out through the window. We could have just came in the way that we... We went out the way we came in, but... Where's my bike? Bike, bike, bike. We're super slow right now because we're super encumbered. But that's why we have our bike. Let's go ahead and see what we can drop off, if anything. Probably not anything, actually. A little bit. Okay. Don't really want to scrap the cans. We can eat a little bit, though. Like we said before in previous episodes, we're kind of saving the cans um, to make oil with once we find a desert biome, which we should be able to do pretty easily once we have the gyrocopter, so. Alright. Let's head over to that quick waypoint that I set up. See if we can get some leather from that, uh, that store. Yeah, because we're still short. 18 leather for the gyrocopter. I think we have everything else we need other than the acid at this point. Um, so we still do need to find the acid, but we might be able to just buy that from the trader. All the doors are locked. Where's the entrance? This is a lot bigger location than I thought it would be. All right, here's the entrance. I don't know how she didn't wake up the first time, but... Oh, I've made some friends. Wait, how am I stuck? Dang it. <laughs> Stupid mannequins. Well, that was a unfortunate turn of events. It's fine though. Okay, let's see what we can find in there for leather. 
presumably the clothes piles might have leather. No. Is it, they all just disappear when I loot them? Nope. All the cloth. What if I... Okay, it's cloth if you break it. Metal if you break it. Okay. Cloth if you break it. Looks like this is all gonna be cloth. Oops. Oh, there's some leather. 13. Nice. And 7. That'll do it! Uh... I'd rather wear pants than overalls, to be completely honest with you. I heard someone coming. I definitely heard someone coming. On the outside, though. Oh, how that missed. Uh, what does the uh, bruise? Uh, it's just an abrasion. No way to treat that painkiller for this one. Okay. That gets back most of our health. Need some food. Lots of uh, lots of cloth here to scrap. You could really customize your look however you want in one of these places. I could be getting a good amount of paint from these these clothes actually, but I don't really have time to separate it out. Which is kind of a bummer. Uh, forty two. I think that's what we need. That should be enough, right? Yeah, we only need forty. So we are good. Uh, okay, that's intriguing. Gun rack over here. All right, uh, we got a piece out. Um, I would love to explore this place further, but that might be for another day. We're coming up on Horde Night, and we're out in the middle of nowhere. So that's bad. We definitely have to get on our bike and start riding right this second. So I'm going to start riding towards base. If we don't make it in time, I'll cut back. See you guys in a second. Oh boy, guys. Um, it's going to be real tight. I don't think that we make it, honestly. I don't think that we do. Uh, the exclamation point is a traitor. It's not our house. There's the freaking airdrop right there. Um... The exclamation is the traitor, not our house. Our house is the waypoint that's the the red. Um, we're coming up on it, but I don't, I don't know if we make it in time. It's going to be super duper close. Come on! Oh god. Okay, go, 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 go. He didn't see you. It doesn't matter if he did. Go, go! Ride that bike like your life depends on it, because it actually literally does. I don't want to lose the experience. Please. Can we? I think we might make it. Oh my god, so close. Okay. I should be able to see it. Right? Oh, it's across the lake. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, we made it. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to drop off as much stuff as I can. And then we're going to... We're going to go inside. Make sure I shut the door behind me this time. Shut both doors. Repair that up. I don't have the ability to repair that up anymore. Oh, hold on, let's just do this. That should be good. Uh, drop chest. Okay, let's drop off all this stuff. Don't need to worry about it for now. Oh, there's our time. Just in case we need it. Over here, guys. Oh, shoot. I need to turn on the traps. 
Alright. Come and get it, boys. If you'd like to come and get it, uh -huh. Oh, okay. A little overzealous there, don't you think? This, uh, this episode will be just a little bit longer because we're doing two Horde Knights. Um, and then I'll get the Gyrocopter crafting uh, for the next episode before we end out here. Hopefully. I think I have everything we need. Oh, we don't have the acid still. Darn it. Okay. Maybe I will run to the trader and check to see if he has it. And just kind of like pause the recording, run over there, check it, and then uh, hopefully he does. Otherwise, we're just going to have to do some more raiding of houses to find acid. Wait, can you craft acid? Doesn't look like it. That would have been nice. I mean, it makes sense that you can't, but... It would have been nice nonetheless. Pushing the loop bag closer, I appreciate that. Same to you guys. Kind of the nice thing is they're forced through that little narrow corridor. They like kind of kick the loop bags forward to you, which is pretty cool. Just straight up brass there. We actually do get a good amount of brass just from doing Horde Knights, which I kind of like. And it's definitely self-sustaining on the bullets. That's what we have currently for boots. Oh, there's our first cop. I can expect several more. If we have one, we're likely gonna have more. Got him. Dark trap recipe. We already knew how to make that, but still cool. If you read in, you already know it gets you experience, right? I believe that's right. Did he die? Yeah, he did. Yep. Got some soup. Yep. Yep, so the cops have started to come, so this is where things start to get a little bit crazier. Still easy to handle until we start getting demolishers. I mean, even then it's not that bad. We definitely need to get additional blade traps up and running, though, if we want to really handle that stuff appropriately.
like we have vultures. Have to do something about them eventually too. Put a blade trap up there, maybe. Hey, pupper. I hear several more puppers. Luckily, my uh, blade traps make mince meat out of them. I like I can actually just kill the cops with the spears, as long as there's not too many of them. So that's nice. I love that the loot bags actually last through the entire horde now. They don't, like, disappear on you. A wonderful change they made when they made that change. I still do like looting them out of habit, just as I go, but... I kind of want to start skinning some of these dogs that are down here. Get a little bit of rotted flesh, you know? Some bones. Nice supply of it. My, uh, my actual axe needs repaired. Like, I know the item needs repaired. That's why I'm trying to repair it. Yeah, let's talk about my actual axe. Alright, cool. Got through that pretty decently. I have I do say so myself. So we'll go on up and turn off the, uh, the generator. There it is. Last one down. Have our gun out just in case anything sneaks up on us. A little bit of forged steel. Nice. More books. We'll check out what books we got in just a moment. Looks like another dog I can take apart. Nice. Uh, so we got exploding arrows. Cool. Uh, keep your robots from becoming junk. Robots and stun batons degrade slowly. Ooh, yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, faster reloading of rifles. Sure, sounds great. Sounds great. All right, that was pretty good. All right. So, I guess I'm gonna hop on my bicycle, drop off some inventory stuff, go on over to Trader, see if he has acid for sale, and, uh, if so, we'll buy it. Um... I'll show you guys the sale either way. If he doesn't have acid, that'll be the end of this episode. If he does, we'll come back and craft the gyrocopter. Either way, I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, we're going to check the uh, vending machine in the fire station across the way first, just to see if there's uh, candy that makes it a little bit better for uh, trade deals. You never know. I believe there's one down here, and there's one up top as well. So we'll just quickly clear out this place. All right, that should be good. Hi, Candy. That is not it, but we'll buy it. That's a feral. What we wanted was the... The, uh, the pink ones, the sugar daddies or whatever, right? Something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hobble my way over. All right, let's check the vending machine up here. Uh, we don't have what we want here either. We'll take that anyway. Uh, yeah, that's fine. The trader himself might have it too. Alright, let's see if this one has it. No. Darn. That's a bummer. Because we're going to sell him a lot of stuff. It would have been nice to get a slightly better deal. But, that's okay. 
Uh, she also probably has a quest reward for us, so we'll just start by throwing this stuff on the ground. Congratulations! All right, Tech Junkie Volume Two. Uh, we actually just read that, so we'll take the cooling mesh mod instead, and then pick those up. Oh, look, three dukes. All right, let's go ahead and sell her all of our old cash, as well as anything else she's willing to buy. Oh, I don't know if I want to sell her a claw hammer, actually. We might need that for some, but something. Hold on. Stay safe out there. Recipes. I don't know. We already have a workbench. We're good to sell her that. Uh, sell her the silver. I think that's all the things we're willing to sell her. Alright, so we came away with 7,800. That's pretty good. Let's see if there's anything of hers that we want to buy. Well, there's oil shale. So we'll buy that right away, for sure. Actual oil, we'll buy that. It's just straight up blade traps. Let's just let's just buy two of those. Um, how many? Do, she has three. Let's buy all three. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's that's honestly amazing. So, yay! And there's the bottle of acid we needed. Booyah! Might as well pick up some lock picks as well while we're at it, because we don't have any of those. God dang. This was a very, very productive trader uh, run. Steel's tool schematic. We don't have enough to buy it because we just spent a bunch of money, but that is cool. Um, actually, hold on. That only gave us 10. Okay. <laughs> touche, touche. Anything in here we can actually afford? I would love to have the burning shaft mod schematic, but we cannot afford it. So that is fine. I am very happy what we came away with here. That is amazing. All right, we'll see you back at base in a second, guys. Alrighty, guys, looks like we are able to craft the chassis. So let's do that. And then we need to make wheels. So let's get the uh, get the wheels going, because I think we have to do that for the actual gyrocopter engine, lead battery. So three wheels. Uh, I assume we have to do those on the actual thing here. Okay, we should have all that. Give me a second to scrounge it up. Alrighty. Wheels. Craft three of those. We gotta wait on the gyrocopter. Get this brass smelting that we recovered. Yeah, actually it worked out pretty much perfectly going out, getting that engine finding the acid and we got blade traps to fill our empty spots over there and we can expand our base a little bit next episode as well so all in all this was like an amazingly productive episode so i'm gonna just kind of chill here for the next like three minutes while these craft up um and then i'll get the get the end one crafting um but it does look like we should be good to do so because we have the engine we have the battery we have the accessories, the chassis, and the wheels crafting, so we should be a golden to get our gyrocopter going for next episode. Alrighty, there is the last of it. Gyrocopter is crafting, so we'll have that for the next episode for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you like, favorite, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment down below. We'll see you for next one. Again, I apologize for the last episode with the uh, video cutting in and out, but it looks like we have that problem solved. Again, let me know in the comments down below if there was any of that this episode. I couldn't really keep an eye on it the entire time because I'd be like looking over here all, all the time. Um, but my diagnostic things is saying that we haven't lost any frames. So hopefully we're good. Uh, do let me know, though, if it did drop out at all. Uh, either way, thanks for being here and have a wonderful night. Bye, y'all.